We all heard that eating yogurt for that antibiotics property is good for your stomach, but why? I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Track MTM. There are good live bacteria and yeast that reside in your gut generally. It works to keep your digestive system in check. Now, when your colon or your large intestine contains, let's say, billions of these bacteria with types from over 500 different species, this community of microorganisms is referred to as your gut flora. It offers many health benefits like, let's say, manufacturing vitamin K, certain vitamin Bs even, and maintaining a healthy weight, even stimulating your immune system as well. However, unbalanced gut flora is linked to, let's say, numerous diseases. We're talking obesity, type 2 diabetes, and many, many more. Probiotics can replenish that and help to correct this balance or unbalance, I would say, to make sure your gut flora is operating at its very best. Probiotics are generally foods or supplements that contain healthy bacteria and yeast and are meant to boost up that numbers of healthy organisms in your gut. Probiotics food include, of course, kimchi, yogurt, sauerkraut, tempeh, and many others. With the most common of groups of probiotics include lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Different types of bacteria work for different health conditions as well, so it's important to choose the right one for you. In the pharmacy world, the most common that I've seen is like culturel or lactobacillus. Many probiotic supplements combine together of like different species under the same supplement. And these are known as broad spectrum probiotics. So as always, be sure to check the product label before you buy into anything. Do you absolutely need a probiotic, like a pill to take every day? It depends on what your health condition is and where you are in terms of gut flora. I would definitely check that first before you just dive in and take some random supplement. Now, are there any other side effects that come with taking probiotics? Absolutely. It's typically well tolerated, but you might experience, let's say, some gas, abdominal discomfort in your belly, perhaps, which could resolve within a few days. Now, how safe is it to take probiotics? For healthy people, generally pretty safe. However, in people, let's say, compromised immune system, let's say for HIV or AIDS, it can cause some dangerous infections down the road if you're not watching out for it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.